Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, part two of our geometric sequence and series. So this one's just on geometric sequences basically. So this is where we get our formulas, how to develop our formulas. So exponential growth and decay functions have the form uh, have the form of this, y equals c times r to the x. Okay, and then um, and then uh, the C is the initial amount, so the starting point right here, whether it's uh, in uh, bacteria or money. Okay, R is the rate of change, so if it's doubling, then it would be 2. If it's, uh, if it's a half-life, then it would be a half. And X right here, this is usually our, our time right here, so how much time? So if it doubles in a day, this would be one day, or if it, or it multiplies by six every hour, this would be by hours or whatever. And this is the final amount right here. Y is the final amount. So here we go. So let's go back to yesterday's notes and look at section C, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so here's the formula. I just shrunk it up right here so we can just have a little reminder right here. And here's section C. It's going to fit all around that right there. Okay, this was from yesterday's notes. You have a Petri dish of a 500 bacteria. This is my starting number right here. So this would be the initial amount. That would be the C right here. Okay, and it doubles every two hours. Okay, so, so if it doubles, then the R is going to be 2. Okay, so this double part right here means times 2. Okay, and every two hours where T is in time for two hours, so, so I'm going to put a T right here for time right there. Okay, so that's enough information right there. There's the initial amount, the 500, that's what we started with, and it goes times two for every two hours, and T represented every two hours. So that's the formula right there. Okay, easy enough. Okay, so that's how we get those formulas. So one day was a, uh, remember one day equals um, uh, 12 two-hour cycles. Okay, so T would be 12 in this case. So I'd put a 12 right there for one day because it asked us um, after one day how much would it be. Well, remember, this doubles every two hours. So uh, in one day, which is 24 hours, there's 12 two-hour cycles in one day. So, so uh, T, this equals T right here. T equals 12. So if I plug in 12 right there, we'll get the same answer as we did yesterday. Okay, so we just plug in 12, and then 2 to the 12th, um, if we just keep doubling 2 and doubling 2 and doubling 2, we've done that before. I don't want to go through that right now, but 2 to the 12th is 4,096. So 500 times 4,096, and we'll get the same answer that we did yesterday um, when we made that T-chart. So 2 million... 48,000 bacteria, okay? So that's using our formula from this stuff right over here. Let's try that again with, um, uh, let's go back and look at section D from yesterday's notes, okay? So here's section D on yesterday's notes. A physicist is holding radioactive material for an experiment. He has a thousand milligrams. Okay, do you remember what this is? What letter that goes for? This is my starting number. This is that starting number C. He has a thousand milligrams, so that's going to be this C right here. So I'm going to put a thousand right here, uh, which has a half life. Well, my half life is this thing, my rate of change. So it's it's taken it's going down by a half. So this is going to be one half right here. Okay, a half life of one day. Okay, so my X is going to be time. Okay, um, uh, for how many days it's going to be. So N days, and they told us to put N days. So this is going to be N right here. Okay, so it's going to be 1,000, 1 half to the N power. Okay, easy enough right there. Okay, so there's that right there. All right, and then it says if he needs the amount to be 62.5 milligrams, that's the end right there. Well, which one's the end right there? The final amount is this Y right here. So if I put in 62.5 right there, then I have this equation right here. Okay, notice I put in 62.5 for Y. Okay, now we don't have calculators in our class, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop uh, right there with that right there. But if we did have a calculator, we'd divide both sides by 1,000. And when you divide by 1,000, it just moves that decimal over three places to the left, one, two and then one more so this would be 0 0.0625 so 0 0.0625 if you divided both sides by a thousand would equal one half to the n power so you just have to go one half times one half times one half times one half and find out how many halves you have to do to get 0 0.0625 okay and this is how we did it yesterday we actually made a t-chart right here day zero was a thousand and then after one day it was cut in half because it was this half-life right there okay so it went down to 500 and then after two days it was cut in half again 
So it went down to 250. After three days, it was cut in half again. So it went to 125. After four days, it went down to um, uh, 62.5. So it took four days to get down there. So we made a little chart of a calendar on the bottom right here. And it said it had to stop by Wednesday. He needed the 62.5 by Wednesday. So if we just go back four days, one, two, three, and then back here to four, then that means he should start it on Saturday, and then it should have it should get to our desired result of 62.5. Okay, and one half to the uh, fourth power gets me 0 0.0625. Okay, all right. So here's another problem, you guys. Inflation is rampant. Uh, on day one, you buy a piece of bubble gum for one cent. On day two, you pay six cents for the same gum. Okay. On day three, you pay 36 cents. Okay. Assuming this pattern continues, how much will a piece of gum cost on day six? Okay, we got to find out what's the pattern first. So we're going to organize this information. We're going to write an equation and find out how much it'll cost on day six. Okay, well, let's go ahead and list the numbers. It goes from one to six, one cent for the first day, six cents for the second day. It's a little bit easier to see when you see this. This is just going times six times six. So. So remember, it went from one cent to six cents to 36 cents. That's these numbers right here. So that tells me R equals six. So that's that thing that goes in the parentheses right there. Okay, let's organize this information. Okay, day one, it's a penny. So um, instead of writing one cent, because these are going to change into dollars, so I changed one cent to uh, 0 0.01 dollars right there. Okay, and then so on day two times six, it goes times six. Okay, day three times six. Okay, day four. Okay, don't be afraid to multiply times six. Whoops, I hit it too many times. Okay, don't don't give up on your multiplication skill. Six times six is thirty-six. So there's the six for the thirty-six, and I carry the three right there. There's my thirty-six. And then six times three is eighteen, and then add these three gets me twenty-one. So it's two dollars sixteen cents. Okay. All right, so we're always going to move the decimal over two places right there. Okay, and then day um, day five, I'm going to multiply this number times six again. So you'll see me do that right here. So 216 times six, six times six is 36. Carry the three right there. There's my 36. And then six times one is six, plus three is nine. And then six times two is 12. So 12.96. So it's going to be $12.96 right there. Okay, 12.96. Okay, one more time. I'm going to multiply 12.96 times 6 to get my sixth day right there. Okay, again, don't be afraid to multiply. 6 times 6 is uh, 36. There's my 3. 6 times 9 is 54. Plus 3 is 57. So there's my 5 when I carry the 57. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 5 is 17. So there's the 7 for the 17 and the 1, the 17. So then finally, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1. So 7776, so $77.76 right there. Okay, so let's write an equation right now. So I know that this answer right here, number 3, is going to be $77.76. Let's write an equation. What's the initial amount right here? The initial amount is one cent, but since we're talking about dollars, I'm going to put this as my one cent, 0 0.01. Okay, and then uh, the rate, uh, where is that little thing? Did I put that? Uh, good, I did. Okay, so the rate right here is um, uh, times six. That's how much it's getting multiplied by. The rate of change, it gets multiplied. The change is going times six, times six. Here it is, times six, times six. So this is going to be six right here. And then put the x right there, okay? So there, there's the equation right there, okay? And, of course, there's the answer right there, all right? Hope that makes sense. You guys will have a worksheet that kind of follows this stuff inside of here, okay? Take care, everybody. Peace.